Tampa obviously looking to do better than uh, they were able to achieve in stage one. Yes, a win against Philly would be nice. Neptuno leading the charge for the Fusion, our team that ended up being uh, second place in the overall league last year. So certainly finding a lot of success in the inaugural season of the Overwatch League and now in our 2019 season. Strike, strike coming through. There's a minefield now from Sato. They're trying to move them over. They do kind of trap them between a minefield and a dragon magic arrow place, I guess you could say. Well, that'd be a fusion. BQB. Oh, the BQB with the triple. <laughs> the configuration tank. And now we, Florida is able to regroup as all six. They're able to get a couple more ults. They don't have to deal with Carpe's massive amount of Zarya energy damage. Whoa, Swan. Wow. Big Earth Shatter. Samir comes in, but not in time to save EQO. Under pressure here, Carpe getting a good amount of charge early on with that Zarya. We gotta watch. Ooh, Hagopun gets roasted. Was out from behind the shield, and that is gonna be about that. Chris Solo, everybody else on Florida Mayhem just scrambling to stay alive, but they lost the Reinhardt, they lost everybody else, and that's gonna be King's Row going to Philly. That's right, Joa, Time Bank once again sees a Philadelphia Fusion victory. They will go up two to one in the series. Six and two, Matt, so far in the Overwatch League, and it's been quite impressive. And I've said this before, I even wrote about it actually this week. They're trying to find, they love being underdogs. They, they, they want that but status, they want to retain it for they're as long as they can. But you cannot be six and two with a strong roster. Perhaps I think it's just because they're a very no-nonsense team. Leaving the charge, the great Dane, Kellex. And we again, we're touching it on RCK in, in this in this roster. He's been working out. They lost Nope. We definitely thought that Nope was one of the He's a potential franchise player for yeah. this team. He was such a solid individual, great mechanically. Uh, but uh, it seems like they haven't really worked to beat. Kalahek's getting harassed in the back by a grenade throw. Well, RCK came into a Okay, then! Yakub drops in with a pile driver and he's got two. Kalex went down first, no resurrect. And Blase was second with a wrecking ball in the fight. have opened this fight up. In a flash, it was over. In a flash, the map was the defiance. Just had Yakub switch over to Reinhardt, so no Earth Shatter build up. You can EMP Shatter, you might not even need to grab. Now rising up 2 5. Oh, RCK! Stunned up as he's trying to go for the EMP. Ivy was watching his every move. Soundberry now for the Toronto to buy it. They start the fight well. Boston have their engaged tools stripped from them, along with their dignity. But Color Hex is going to be able to just play here at range and see just the angle oh, he's, he's just able to get. Chilling. He's just hanging out oh. in the back corner and he gets three. No one was there to bother him. He didn't even reveal himself. How would the Defiant have known <laughs> what was hurtling towards him at the speed of sound? Not even a great angle to be able to heal at range here from Echo. Now, Blase Kalahex can't really access the high ground. Fusion's cannon, he will try to do so now. Putting some pressure on Tactical Visor from 37. Gets slapped in the middle of it. And he got a parting gift. Putting on 37 asleep now. And the Soldier 76 has to try and make an impact here, but that's a massive biotic grenade. High ground makes it a little bit hard for Color Hex to guarantee a good grab. He needs to wait for the Defiant to commit to the low ground, and now they begin to do that. He cannot let this Graviton be needed. It's happened to him before and to many other Zayas. He lays it down. Oh, he needs oh. it! He needed that one to connect, but it's no good. MD eats that one up, but now Boston needs to win without the grab. Plus eight. Gonna go for the rally here as the uprising need to stand their ground. Fusion shattered. He nails Yakpum, but a very quick sound barrier from eight keeps Yakpum standing for the defiant Ivy. Finds two, and Fusion is taken down. Boston was so close, they needed that grab to work. Sound barrier already being used, now we're in overtime. Fusion needs to use that durability to get some damage done. He needs to trade in that health for dead opponents. self destruct oh, he's caught out. He wasn't even stunned into the blast. But again, Boston Uprising have lost their main tank early in this fight, but they have to stay, they have to commit. Kalahex backing around the pillar. He's actually quite close to a Graviton. He might have a chance at redemption, but Ivy also has his ultimate ready, and he lets it go straight away. Kalahex and Blase caught up an old, but Yakpum goes down. Blase also missing, though. Ivy found the pick. It's a late grab from the Boston Uprising, but no one was there. It was just an ultimate, a bit of decoration. They may do Kalex this, drops in. The EMP was huge. Fusion tries to get the pile driver here, and 80's forced back. MD is low, de-suited. Boston now with the advantage, the upper hand. 80's pooped away from the point, but Boston still needs to capture it. 37 is cut off for the rest of his team, and Envy is only in mini diva form. He can't do too much. He needs to get that med back. 
Kalahex returns to the fray, and the Soldier 76, the extra speed gets him there in time. But Yakung appears in the flourish. He produces a fire strike that takes Kalahex down. Fusion is also low. He's trying to play so aggressively. The boot from Kalex doesn't knock anyone off the side of the map. Now Neko gets his transcendence, and Kalex is on his own. Yakung looking for a target, but he has an Earth Shatter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the uprising was so close from making Overwatch League history and getting another reverse sweep, but they'll have to wait in at all. Anima leading the charge, the support lines actually coming out first for New York, and it is a confusing team, like we talked about. These guys can look so good, and if you look at their schedule for stage two, like they said in the pre-show today, it's really easy to imagine them going 14-0 in the regular season, but what happens in the playoffs, you know? Young Jin, of course, coming out. And Shanghai, you know, they, they're coming in. A lot of people, I feel, are underrating the Shanghai Dragons. They played a very competitive series up against the LA Gladiators. Got to walk through all those fights though. Ooh, that is that scared me, man. My palms are sweaty after watching. Uh, they do that. He's weak as well. Hey, oh, he finds Young Jin with the dead eye. You can't peek. New York Excelsior getting the kills. Self-destruct combo, and remember, there's no trance on the side of the Shanghai Dragons. This is it. They gotta win this fight right here. Dragons. Oh, Youngjin pinned by Mono after the Shatter comes to trapped in the ground, but they weren't able to get the kill. Now the Sun Bear comes in from New York. Self-destruct, and again, Kangri gets two. Mecco finds her with his self-destruct, but it might not be enough. That said, Mono and Mecco still claiming some more kills, but Gamsu takes out Jonak with a punch in the face. Now on to Nene. Headshot coming through, but no kills out of that one. A lot of damage, though. Jonak already halfway to his transcendence. He built that so quickly. He also, a uh, little anecdote, he built that. Uh, oh, oh, there's classic Jonak. <laughs> This is a team that's been pressed this man, and all their players aren't even here yet. We haven't seen um, Young Chao Long yet. I mean, look, this is going to be, you know, very interesting. Gigi Ren as well, not here in uh, in America yet, but still with this arguably weakened, at least you know, on paper roster, they've given us some great Overwatch now. And I mean, this is their jungle map. Yeah, everyone will be sitting up, sitting down, sitting up, get more of a workout than we are out here. Leading the charge, Teen Wolf Grey. Shaved his beard a little bit there. He's he trimmed that one. Wolf, yeah, team wolf. Oh, come on, man. You can't do your butt like that. Hey, you got a little Team Wolf looking. Uh, trimmed it down a touch. It. Really takes the players out pretty quick, but it ramps up quicker. Yeah. Oh, Sunu Jin. Jin Mu when he oh, passes, just getting around the corner, but also goes down. Headshot. We've seen this happen at teams before. Trying to play Chongdu's game, they get lost in a haze of bloodlust, and they wake up with a loss message on their screen. They've got to keep it together, but Shadow Bear, that was very classy. Kyo and Bacon Jack both fall in quick. Oh. Exception! <laughs> what a connection! Threading the needle. Oh, it must be so awesome to be able to do that. <laughs> so this fight's gonna allow the hunters to get up to about, I know, 50%. So, oh, oh, really? Is, that is nuts. I can how see Gray. I, I can see Gray yelling at his team right now to follow up, but I don't think they can. Yeah, no. Also falls to Elsa. Chondu just refused to play the game like anyone else, and it is fun to watch. Oh. Crews down. Shadow missing Elsa. He's charged up and ready to rumble. He's doing so much damage right now. And with the teleport reason, he's getting just to reposition himself. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is just tearing Paris Eternal to shreds. Fully charged, doing absolute max damage, and the Paris Eternal are dumbfounded! <laughs> There's Zinyala now missing for the Paris Eternal. Gary traded out, both sends it down. Cloudy has to use a primal race to stay alive here, and Jinmu just trying to whap back and forth on the point. Very low, Another trying to get those Inspire deal. procs, and Amon making it very dangerous now to even approach the payload, let alone move it. Finzi down to a mine. Amon dropped it, got rid of the mech now. Self-destruct over the top. Elsa gets two! They needed that one so badly! In a match with self-destructs, not getting much done. Finally, the Hunters come up with one that yields results and a series win. 4-0.